Hi, I'm Leadership Development Coach Kathy Archer. As I continue to talk about leadership this month and what I believe a successful leader is and what makes leaders be that successful person, I want to touch today on accountability. Often what we're looking for when we think of accountability is holding other people accountable. We want to make sure that the staff we supervise do their job correctly. We want to make sure that other people are doing what they say they're going to do or what they're supposed to do. But what about you? How do you hold yourself accountable? And I think this is one of the key things in leadership is we need to be clear on what am I working on? What are my goals? What are my uh, tasks that I need to accomplish? And am I doing that? And not only am I doing it, but am I being clear with myself and the people around me that I'm doing it? So now as a leader, you have lots of goals I would hope that you're working on that are both internal and external. Those things that you're working on as you as an individual. Now I'm not saying that you have to go out and tell your whole team that, you know, I'm working on not, um, you know, losing it so much. Although there might be a few key people that you've talked to about that goal. There might be some people that you've asked to help you with that goal and kind of let you know after the fact or during the fact that, that you're about ready to lose it. Some, you know, quiet hand signals that the two of you might have established. But what I am saying is that there are times when you need to be clear on, hey, one of the things I'm working on this quarter is getting the budget more intact. And I know that that has some big impacts on everybody else. But what you do is then you have the conversation about what it is you're trying to achieve, how you're trying to achieve it, but that you also then come back and report whether you were successful or not, whether you met your goal or not, and what maybe you need to do to change up next time. You know, maybe the fact is, yeah, we met our goal, but you know what? It really impacted the culture of our organization. And so we need to look at not only how do we maintain our fiscal responsibility, but I also need to look at when I'm doing that, how do I maintain the, you know, team's morale at the same time? So you have those conversations about that. When you say to people, we need to have this done by this date and this date, and I will get this done in this part, and then you don't do your part, that's not holding yourself accountable. And so I think it's really important in leadership roles to also hold yourself accountable for the parts that you are responsible for and to communicate that accountability to your team. I said I was going to have this report to you on this day and it's not going to get there. I'm going to be a day late, um, you know, and, and you're just honest about that. Or you make sure you get it done on time and you're clear on that. That's the accountability piece. When you say you're going to do something, you need to do it. Here's one of the number one things people are looking for in a leader. It's integrity. And integrity means you say something and you do it. That we can trust your words. That you walk your talk. That you do as you say. If you say you're going to have this report done, if you say you're going to do this for the people, if you, you know, report that this is what's going to happen and then you don't do it, your followers lose faith in you. They don't believe in you. They don't believe you next time you say something because the last three times you haven't done what you said you're going to do. Accountability is holding yourself accountable as well. Be responsible for what you say you're going to do. If you're not going to be able to do it, then don't say it. Don't make up stories. Don't set yourself up and your team up. Say it, mean it, do it. And if you can't, be clear on why you couldn't do it. Hold yourself accountable as strongly as you hold your team accountable. If you are a woman in a leadership position and have not heard about Growing Great Women Leaders, click the link above and find out if this training is for you.